So, I mean, look, when Sir Lindsay Hoyle is not in Parliament yeah. giving an order, order, yeah. he's now written to the departing Met Police Commissioner, Dame Cressida Dick, mm-hmm. and the British Boxing Board of Control, revealing that government ministers are looking into this as well. I mean, Simon, this is borderline ridiculous, isn't it? We all know that the, the, the verdict should not yeah. have stood. But now with this lot getting involved, where are we going? Um, look, I mean, I, 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 obviously the link with the House, Speaker of the House of Commons is that it's a, a constituent. Yeah. But notwithstanding that, you know, the sport itself, you know, Robert Smith, I like Robert. He doesn't like some of the things I say. He didn't like my observations about the British Boxing Board of no control, which is what I think they are, over the Bradley Skeet decision. It's quite and he, and mm. here they are in a situation where it's not... It, Jack might want to be magnanimous about the fact that Robert Smith had the wherewithal to say it was a close fight. It was not a close fight. It was a fight that he clearly won. Everybody with half a brain knows he won that fight besides the judges. And the whole sport of boxing, the only person that's really spoken up about it was the promoter. Unfortunately for us, he'll come on tomorrow and talk a little bit more about it, Ben Shalom, Mm. because he had the character and and courage of his convictions to come out and say something, which I suspect a lot of the other promoters wouldn't have said if if they were in the same situation. So you've got to give Ben Ben some, some, some kudos for that. The government getting involved and the DCMS, if that's why he's talking about government ministers wanting to look at the idea of how the sport is governed, well, I don't like that. It shouldn't need it, and neither should the sport want it, because the sport should want to do things properly. And whether it's the appropriate well, the best form, one in the world, Hoyle should have more th- things to do. Well, you he know, should have more to do. Well, you would think so. Yeah, but we, but we're, we're just yeah, saying but he's we, from, his fight is from Chorley. That's his constituent. And, and, so and that's every, right. But I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm, I'm not sure it's the business of the House of Commons any more no. than it was the business of John Burko to behave the way he did when he was a leader of the House of Commons. No, exactly. Uh, and so we look at this and we say that this is a ridiculous state of affairs that our, our, our House of Commons is being leveraged for a variety of things. But more importantly, put aside the ridiculous nature of politicians getting involved, because 90% of the time I listen to them, whether it's the head of the DCMS, whether it's Julian Knight, they don't know what they're talking about. They virtue signal, they grandstand, and they get in on the periphery of detail, and nothing gets achieved by these people. But the, but the, in the real terms, what we should be looking at is the disgrace that the British Boxing Board of mm. No Control has presided over. Mm. It's not good enough for Robert Smith to do jobs for the boys. He did it with Bradley Skeet. So what did he, you do now? What do they do? Nothing. What do they do? They'll probably let Josh Taylor step up, vacate but the what titles. What should they do? They should. They should. They should order a rematch. But that's not. That's not what he wants. Well, he may not want it, but there's no way you're going to get them to overturn the decision. They've never done it the before. Least, the least of all they can give him is a mandatory rematch. They're trying to bum rush Jack Catterall out of it, and maybe that maybe mm. Josh Josh Taylor will step up in weight now and go and fight Terence Crawford and leave the belts vacated. But the bottom line is, is this is not a just decision. No. Josh Taylor knows it. He may have stood in the ring himself and said, I thought I won that fight. You didn't win that fight in Narnia and you didn't win no. it in Scotland. And I've, heard, I've heard people criticise Josh straight after the fight when he got interviewed, which, you know, the, the broadcasters... He knew he lost. No, the broad- corner told him he lost. Of course, of course that he, he was, had to get a knockout in that round. Yeah, but still... You, you, it you, stinks. You, whatever he said stinks. after the fight, you can take it with a pinch of salt yeah. because he has just been boxed around the head Fine, for 12 but rounds. But he's had plenty of times to come out and speak Listen, about it. He has, and that's, that, that's the, the disappointing thing. in history, Taylor, if he'd come out with, do you know what, I actually didn't win that. No, but he could I mean, come on. No, that's fine. They, they, they don't do that. That's fine, Jim. But to, to actually come out and say you actually think you've won it and, mm. you, and it's clear that you've won it in your own mind. I listened to Josh, right, because I watched the fight and was... Staggered that how Catrol oh, no, made it easy. We're all agreed. But the bigger, it was an issue, the, the bigger issue now is the fit and appropriateness of the Boxing Board of Control, the British Boxing Board of No Control. Well, well here's one for you. Are bringing how, themselves into what's contempt. What's behind the decision? What's behind the verdict? Well, <sighs> if it's that glaringly off, obvious to everybody. What was going on that night? Well, I don't know, Jim. I mean, we can allege corruption. We yeah. can talk about people that aren't fit for purpose. Jack we mentioned could, the word corruption. We could, well, you could, if, if, it's, if it's as glaring as it is, because everyone sat there open mouth. Adam Smith, open mouth. People that are balanced in their view. Yeah. We all get caught up in yeah. the emotion well, of the time. Well, you your boxing, right? you couldn't believe it. And we it. all sat there and went, this is appalling. It's despicable. It's an outcome that can't possibly be seen. And then you hear in the background the noise saying, maybe the volume of the environment that was so pro-Joe... That, uh, uh, Josh, sorry, yeah. effectively swayed the judges. These are professional judges yeah. that know what they're looking at. And then you had other people making cases for how clean people were being hit, how aggressive one person was to another, how tactically or technically adept one was over the other. The bottom line is, is whichever way you cut it, the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario is corruption. The best case scenario is ineptitude. Which one do you want? Pick them. Mm. Yeah. They're both yeah. as bad but as that, one that's another what, for That's what reasons. you're saying. But what can happen from now? Would you say an independent review of judges, suspend, look at this suspend, fight again... Sus- suspend those judges from judging any fights. I'm not talking again, about that. I'm talking about the, the outcome. 
to change the outcome? Do you think they, they could get consequence of judges? Independent reviewed as in judges but review who? it. But like independent judges review it, score it again off camera. But, but they would say that these judges are independent. There's no there's no partisan towards these judges. The bottom line is 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 you're trying to work out how they've got to those decisions. There's no explanation, there's no accountability for no, it. We'll that, never see any visibility of it. That's a word and we, no saw, we saw we saw and I go back to my hobby horse, which really annoys me, is the Bradley Skeet decision, yeah, where they don't have the to account for it times. and no one has a right to appeal. Mm, yeah. British Boxing Board of Control, we've decided it, that's the end of the discussion. The, the boxer can't even represent himself because it's already been determined, mm. that's the end of the discussion. This brings... Something needs the, to change, this brings, because this is but, another state. it needs boxing. leading voices. It, 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 it needs Frank it, Warren, it needs... Eddie Hearn, it needs people to stand up and say, we're not prepared to put our fighters in the way of this. Yeah, but Simon, we're in a different territory now. I mean, Hoyle getting involved, and now the decision has been referred to the police. So all of a sudden, yeah. the yeah. sinister aspect has been cranked up in terms of how the decision was made, yeah. how the verdict was made, and, and what might have led to the verdict yeah, being but, made but, in but that way. But this is a popular trend. You know, We're referring everything the government do to the police right now. Mm. And at the end of the day, that's not the answer. Did the Victor, sport, Lock Boxing Lock needs Victor to Lachlan was up. one of the judges, right? Yep. And I think he scored at 113, 112. Yeah. And even, that's, even, even that is unbelievable. But this because, was the same because Victor points deducted. that you and I were yep. talking to the week before at Manchester, yep. congratulating him about the brilliant way that he'd refereed... Can brew. Well, yeah, absolutely. Or, or more to the point about the career that he's had to date. But that doesn't exclude him from a very curious... I mean, his his was the least curious of all, to some extent. No, well, not it, really true, because he gave it in favour He gave it in favour of Josh Taylor, so he's in the cart as well. No, but, he, Ian John Lewis was 114-111. That's, yeah, that, that's what, in favour of... Um, in favour of Josh. In favour of Josh? Yeah, that, 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 you know... It was only Howard Foster who went 113-112... To Cattrall. To Cattrall. So you, you look at Victor and say, well, these judges should be made to explain the decision-making processes. They should be accountable and it should be visible. Because we talk about football, we talked about the situation with Newcastle and the lack of trans, um, transparency about the processes that were behind the scenes. And in this modern day of sports, you can't hide behind um, uh, privilege. Yeah. You can't hide behind executive privilege in sport. These are public domain businesses now and if you're getting these kind of decisions that are so spurious and so and so difficult to contest or contend with, then you've got to start looking at your processes. And if you look at the British Boxing Board of No Control and their ridiculous rules and their ridiculous attitude, and I like Robert and he tried to pull me up at the calm brook fight about some of the things I say, I really couldn't care less. The bottom line is, is this is not good enough mm. and Robert should do more. Uh, there's someone who's uh, very involved in the, the field of boxing got in touch with me there and he says, look, challengers need to win it, not defend it. Catterall ran during the last four rounds. And also, in America that night, no. the America commentating team uh, involved Andre Ward, the brilliant Andre Ward. Do you remember him? Yes, of course. He had, Taylor winning it by, he had Taylor winning it by two rounds. Look, I mean, and that's an argument that's been made, and that's an argument that people like Robert Smith will hide behind it. And he's, he's turned around and said that he felt the fight was Jack Cattrall's, but it was a, it was a, he nicked it. I don't think he nicked it. I don't think most people felt he nicked it. Yes, of course, you can pull out people that suggest that there's a particular argument they can advance on, the, on Josh Taylor's behalf. But we're not all getting up in arms because we think it was yeah. uh, one way or the other. Yeah. We can clearly see this was a wrong decision. Well, we do, but others... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Andrew Ward doesn't. But boxing does nothing about it. No. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.